Dave, uh, this is Houston. Uh, Roger, uh, we're wondering if you could use that to mail home an ounce of rock, please. An yep. ounce? All right. I'll do that. I bet we could. And I'll stick this in the ETB. If you hold your camera right there, I'll be right back. Something else I think you'll find rather interesting. It'll only take a minute. drum in the ETB, Dave, okay. as well as the solar wind. Uh, Jim, we copied uh, both solar wind and uh, penetrometer drum in the ETB. Not quite yet. I haven't put the solar wind in yet, but I will shortly. I want to watch this. Okay. Yeah, a, a good picture there. Be I've got the beautiful picture, Dave. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon? And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Uh, Mark, that proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Superb. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Penetrometer drum, 70 millimeters, 500 millimeters, 60 millimeter maps. I can get the maps if you want. Okay, the solar wind is in there now, Joe. Solar wind, penetrometer drum. ETB. Nothing like a little science on the moon, I always say. Been saying it for years. 